Hi everyone, back again. So I'm just going to do the April Kitaholic Kits, um, what is it called? Killer Kit. So I'm just going to let you know quickly what I've got left. And this one, I have uh, an immense amount left as you can see. I did 18 layouts I believe and I will go back and do some more. As you can see there's like, I didn't use any flowers I don't think or, or barely any out of the two ephemera packs. And there's things that I can still do with it but I just wasn't I already had two kits um, stacked up with me I've already got the May one and the June one to work on so because of uni and because of work I got a bit behind and so I might um, put some of it into my May kit because it's quite similar or I will and the rest I'll put into my project life box so got some of these lovely hearts left which I will put into the the next kit because they are so lovely and these little resin pieces so once like I said I didn't do any um, flowery kind of layouts so I didn't use any or very many of them at all um, and this is lovely I just I don't know like sometimes I guess you just use what what your layouts need I have uh, obviously I used a lot of figures and I'm not sure if I'll if I can make some words from it, I'll put it in my kit in my stash for a little bit. So out of the white ones, I have a bit left, and I can use B and these ampersands to make E's. So I could probably make something. But I also have all these words here and pig that I have made out of them to use. And I thought those exclamation can, ah, they're not exclamation marks. They're question marks could be used anywhere. Obviously, I have the washi left, washi tape because be pretty hard to use all the washi unless we challenged each other to use the whole washi in a, before a killer kit collection use some of these lovely overlays and these frames used a couple of these um, the resist cards from Kaiser Craft but it has lots left they'll go in my stash because it's nice to um, intersperse them into my albums rather than having them a lot I do use a lot already but I think they'll be nice in my kit in my project life kit that I use from all my stash it's a bit dirty <laughs> so my stencil will obviously go on my stencils the stamp will go with my stamps so I've got all these ephemera so we got two ephemera packs this time we got one from Maggie Holmes and one from Kaiser Craft so we did have a lot to use so there's still a lot left to use and I will I'll put that together I'll keep that those two together with these paper cutouts because this can be used for layering and for project life little bits and pieces so but I'll probably lay, make a background with a layer um, with a layer with a lot of photo layers and then I'll do project life stash oh that's from one of my other kits so these lovely word cutter parts there was a whole page and as you can see they're pretty small so imagine an A4 page with a lot on them so as much as I used a lot and you will see in the following layouts that my excuse me my title page for January had used a million of them <laughs> maybe not a million a lot of them but there is still a lot left and because we got lovely two cut apart sheets and a label cut apart sheet there is a lot left I didn't do like I didn't kill this kid as much as I would have liked to but time constraints and all um, done pretty well and I will show you what I've got and if there is anything later that I do I'll let you know that it comes from this kit well thanks for watching this part of it if you haven't skipped it which sometimes I do um, now my layouts, my layouts will be shown so that you can see what I made with it hi everyone here's the layouts that I've made with the April kit so far uh, if there's any more that I make with all those leftovers I'll let you know so this one is a, a hugely heavy mixed media layout. It's a bit art journal inspired. There's a few layers to it. There's some modeling paste, some of this color blast paste, some stamping, some paper, and all these words that I was talking about that I've used and blend them in to make my title page. It's my, one of the small, an insert for Project Life. Pick it up. So they're eating some of the expensive yogurt, frozen yogurt on holidays. Got some new shoes. 
This is just a little fun little thing. Oh, they're watching donuts being made. You know, still pretty fun when you're a kid to watch millions of times. In the National Geographic shop and a gaming shop. This I've used, um, I've got some ink splatters. Some like distress paint things or I'm not sure what they're called. stain so this one of course I grabbed one that wasn't open open come on we're on I'm filming live well you're not watching it live but I'm filming in real time so there's just a, a phone daughter so that's how I did that those two pages ones with paint ones with stain so there's my insert I don't think I need that paper anymore. So there's another whole 12 by 12 insert. Project Life, some re that resin heart. So I love that we got all these cutter parts. And this is from, I had that on my desk, so that's not from the kit, sorry. Some of the words and a resin. Like, it didn't take much to embellish, which is lovely. This is one of those resist cards. And the washi tape and a wood veneer. And these are our tickets, so some memorabilia in there. And I just cut down that frame so it looks like a little bit of a a um, piece of ephemera. And this is washi that came holding one of the bags closed. So there's the back side of that kit. Um, not the kit, sorry, the layout. And some close-ups. So just use those lines in the paper as a journaling spot. And I think that's, did that come in there? Yeah, pretty sure it did. Some words, some, I don't always like to, I've only just started to do that because I really didn't like writing up vertically. I don't know why, just some little weird thing that I don't like. The tickets from the train, just a border and a, a banner and a word. And this card is from my stash actually. But... Tiny touch that on their label and a resin star. So Project Live doesn't have to be heavily embellished. It's actually really lovely sometimes not to embellish it. Let me get that out of the way so it's distracting. Uh, so it's not distracting would be better. So there's my other another layout. You are a beautiful sweetheart. So he was feeding the pelican the fish that we couldn't keep. So just laid up some lovely... Um, Embellishment clusters. Use this one because you know it's a bird. Use one of those overlays, and I've just cut it down so that it's just the word. Paper clip, resin, not resin, wood veneer. So just layering pieces up, and I used the word from the the in um, ephemera pack, and then I. My goodness. If I could talk, it would probably be more interesting for you guys. And I use my pen just to journal on it and make the rest of the title. So there's that. And not a white background. Paper pattern. Pattern paper background. So that's pretty cool. Oh, and another one. And look, they don't go together in my album. Oh, or maybe they do. We'll see when I do my album share. But they're the same pattern background. Done differently, obviously. So I just, this, there is a process video for this one. There's probably a process video for most of them. Can't remember. So, but let me know if you're really interested in, in anything else. Just comment below and I'll, let, I'll answer. I just used some paint on the background. Added the four sticker, four photos together. Another overlay, piece of ephemera up on foam. And then, so this is one of those frames. And the bit that I cut off, that bit inside here, I put down here. So... Word, um, you know, the washi and the love heart up the top and the bottom for a bit of symmetry. And pretty simple, but so striking. And this is what I call my grunge layout for the month. Well, I don't know that I've done many other grunge layouts either anyway. So maybe, maybe it's a new thing, maybe it's not. Anyway, it's not even a photo of a person. It's actually 
ephemera so that's from the fly that we went when we went to the aquarium and then I took some photos on the way when we were driving so just wanted to document that and I, I don't know I just had this idea so wrapped up the pages and then I really went to town ripping the pattern paper behind the the white paper behind it ink splatters inked up the edges to make it just, just bold bold and grungy and and different so there's definitely a, a layout share for this one a process video this one was all about the layers so actually it started with the title and then the layers came and it's just a in the middle vertical with a whole pile of splatters but you can see oh there's a um, embellishment cluster but there's a whole a couple of layers nothing fancy nothing dramatic like not millions of layers like other times but it is very effective and actually this piece was cut off from that first you know the front page turned it over and it worked for this one whoops just hit my light and this one is a pretty cool so this is like all cut from one page cut into strips and then I've put it on there my kids my kids and my friends are coming inside if they could just be quiet blues it's a big title and a little embellishment cluster. Some ink splatters. Actually, this green is made from the oxide ink made into splatters. So there's a nice little layout. A flare and some wood veneer from my kit. But these are from, not from my kit, from my stash. Why do I always get that mixed up? I cheated and used the Distress Oxide inks from my June, no, my May kit into and added into the April kit to make it. So that background's pretty cool and then I've layered all these pieces on and made the embellishment cluster. Bit of everything, some wood veneer, some words, one of those res resist pieces, those resist cards and a big bold border. Another um, Project Life pocket page. So this is pretty funny. There was a bit of a fight over who wanted to go in which car, who wanted to sit next to everyone. So this car became the cool slushy car as we stopped in, in January. There was dollar um, frozen Cokes, frozen slushies at McDonald's. So we stopped and got one. But we were going down to the sand or the mud flats, whatever you want to call them. And that's a lovely little picture. I used a stamp to make that one, obviously, from my stash, not from the kit. But look, a little um, filler card entirely from the kit. Those love hearts. Like, I could have a million packets of them. I think for the rest of my life that they could be used. An overlay just on the lovely... Look at those ripples in the sand. And a huge title to make that picture strikingly stand out. And it's on a bit of a lean, obviously, as well. Diagonal. I use a stamp to stamp on, even though it's smudged a little. You can see up close it's smudged. But down, you know, from a distance, not, not that bad. Washi tape, resin, wood veneer tag, and a 4x6 filler card using some of the ephemera. And I just outlined the border, but also outlined the love heart. Pretty cool. And there's the back of it. Sorry about the glare, that's why I'm... I took the others out of the um, pages, the 12x12s the out of the pockets, but I didn't really want to do the project life as... My album's going to be mixed up as it is. I'll have to put it all back. Used an out overlay there again. So I did use quite a few of them, even though there's lots left. And look, laid up these two labels, tags from the cut apart, on a white piece of paper card stock with a big border. <clears throat> Excuse me. Frame. And I just had to cut the frame down to fit it in. Another filler card. So it's pretty cool. You can just layer things and layer and layer. So these are all from the, the mud flats when we were exploring them. Sort of in the, inspired from my title page with all those words going down. And that's more of the um, distressed ink. Another simple card. Just laid up the photo. Used a strip. That was from that, uh, that one that had all the strips on it. And this actually goes together so you can see park at the beach. Well, the beach, but park at beach. Because this was the park, this was the view, and this was the kids on the swings. 
So that's pretty cool. That's apparently what I'm going to say to every layout this this video. That's pretty cool. So this is from a um, sketch and it just had that um, triangle piece and another triangle piece in a photo. But of course I went beyond that and added a lot. Oh, actually I lied and I said I didn't make a photo, a flowery layout, but I did. So nice and simple, but lots of background. So this is one piece that I've cut in half to layer there. Some photos, some tags, some string from my stash. More of these lovely love hearts, of course, and some ink splatters. And nearly, nearly finished, but here's a Project Life page. Sorry, I've got some photos hidden over, but you can still see what I did to the page. Lovely little filler page using the stencil and that gold paste that we got. And that's just from a, um, a border strip. This is, I've layered these up to make one card. Just a photo and a cut apart. Very simple. Man bun. These are from my stash, obviously. And this is an N, turned upside down to be a U. So make sure you use your thickers as much as possible. So, <laughs> got photo bombed in that photo, hence the tag. I cut down this little resist uh, card. Use the di dioxide inks to, um, you know, make the resist stand out. Added the tag, the paper clip. And then, so, another one. They're just quite simple, which is probably why I have so much ephemera left, is that it was simple. I didn't even add anything to that card because I love that beautiful flower. Actually, it's the back of this one. So, as you can see, I did opposite. And then just a simple, so this is another strip of paper used as a, as a journaling tag. There we go. And on the back, whoops. So using a title from my stash in my thickers, keeping it real. I was running out of, like, I wanted those four photos here in the middle to be all together. Captured. My son being a bit silly at, his, at our friend's house. And then on the back, so both times I kept the flowers empty. Just a border, two words and two hearts. Silly. And there's actually on the back side next to this page, must, oh, thought I had it, is actually a, a, one of these other photos that I've made into a 12 by 12 layer. And last but not least, is this bit of a layout which I wasn't entirely liking when I was making and I asked for some help in the Kidaholics member forum and got some lovely help there which has made it more appealing to me but not my favourite layout but it's in my album and it tells a story and it's still pretty fun like it's not it's not the most horrible layout because I've actually thrown layouts out before taken the photo off and, and thrown it in the bin so I used two of those resist cards Added some, you know, these are from my um, from my stash. Sorry, I'm sort of <laughs> really tired. I'm, unfortunately, it's probably not a very great video. Listening to my voice drone on about it in a very boring manner. So some couple of layers of vellum. I've um, outlined all the, not all, but some of the um, papers behind it. I'm so sorry. I nearly finished so you don't have to listen to me and I won't do so many voiceovers tonight so that you don't hear my boringness and my tiredness so there we go thank you for watching and if you are interested in um signing up to kidaholics obviously the link is down below and we'd love to see what you make with your kids so share around thank you i'll just show you just quickly again and obviously at the end there'll be some stills oh, i love this grunge one and this one too, I love this one. There we go. And this one, this mixed media art journal one is so cool. Anyway, have a good one and I'll see you next time. Thank you all.